Giorni che io che mi ha fatto c'è tre giorni. Namo Sakya Muni Bura Namo Sakya Muni Bura Namo Sakya Muni Bura Today I talk to you about the chapter 25 of the Lotus Sutra. The uh, chapter 25 is uh, the universal gateway of the Bodhisattva, of the possible of the world sound. Really, on this one, this chapter, the uh, <coughs> Bodhisattva of the world sound talk about loving kindness and loving compassion in uh, different country you know the uh, bodhisattva world sound can be like a man generous like uh, the tibetan for example and uh, but in the other country like uh, Vietnam or China, sometimes it's a lady. If uh, the mother of the loving kindness and loving compassion, when you uh, can have a, or a man or a, a lady, okay, of the, of the uh, Bodhisattva of uh, all sound. On this one, really Buddha out of uh, love for everybody. So he know that we we are suffering. So he teaches us to be to have a joy. So he teaches the loving uh, kindness, and then the people they suffer too much, a loving compassion. So that uh, the chapter of this one. But, uh, you know, on the <clears throat> Lotus Sutra, that wonderful thing about Lotus Sutra, it makes you believe you have uh, your uh, Buddha nature, your true nature. Really, you didn't depend on anybody, but you depend on yourself. And Buddha teaches us how to self-confident, self-dependence, okay? Like, uh, other religions, they depend the compassion of somebody upper, you know, like have a power to forgive, a power to give a benediction to make you happy or unhappy. In Buddhism, especially the Sutra, uh, Buddha teaches us that yourself you can do it, okay? You don't depend on anybody, you depend on yourself. You have a self-confidence and you find out your true nature. Because sometimes, you know, we don't know that we have a true nature with our true self. And we believe we are a normal person. We have a lot of vices, a lot of deficiency. But we are saying no. Because uh, if you misconception, and you think you, uh, I, you eat now, it's yourself, it's your true self. Really, you have to meditate, you have to think deeply, and you find your true self, your true nature. Your true nature is as good as the true nature of the Buddha, okay? He said that your mind and Buddha's mind are the same, okay? There are no much difference. But some people, they don't believe it because uh, Nobody teaches us how to trust ourselves, how to have self-confidence. We thought we are all, we are far, far behind the Buddha. Buddha said, no, your mind, my mind, that the Buddha's mind are the same. Because of the misconception, a lot of uh, misunderstanding, you think that your nature is far inferior from the Buddha nature. Would I say, no, your true nature, your Buddha nature, they are the same, okay? So this one, 
this uh, chapter 25 here, the uh, Bodhisattva of the uh, perceiver of the world sound. He or she tells us about loving kindness and loving compassion. Okay? That's the uh, Buddha's uh, intention. Okay? To teach us how to make yourself happy, how to make yourself have the uh, confidence. And because uh, he said, your true nature, your real nature, your true mind, it's a, it's a good mind, a good one. Okay? So, say that. And on the chapter here, it's the uh, Bodhisattva, possible of the world, or Avalokitesvara. Teach you that. Okay? You, you can learn more of Avalokitesvara. That's the uh, Bodhisattva, possible of the world uh, sound. That's the uh, the name of the Avalokiteshvara. If you want to see as a man or as a woman, it's up to you. Okay? It depends on what kind of book, what kind of uh, country you go to. Like uh, in Southeast Asia, that's a lady. But in other country like uh, Tibet or in India, that's a man. Okay? January 6th. And, uh, So when you study the chapter 25th, you know more about Avalokiteshvara. And you know what it means like a loving kindness, you know. Because uh, like I said before, you know, study Buddhism make you very happy. Make you have a true happiness. And uh, so the, the ch chapter 25 here guide you to have uh, the two uh, happiness, okay? The loving uh, kindness you have. And in the case, you know, you have some suffering in your mind. That's your, in your mind and your thinking. Because sometimes our thinking, we have outside thinking. We influenced by the outside, so we suffer. You can have a lot of misconception, but if you don't go back to your true self, go back to your true mind, you're not unhappy. Okay, you're really true happy. So, in this chapter, the Bodhisattva guide you to go back to your true self, to go back to inside, instead of going outside and you suffer. You go back to the inside. You don't suffer. You find your true self. Your true self is a purified. It's a good self. So you don't suffer. And you, your true nature is as good as the Buddha nature. So you don't suffer. So, but go back to that. Sometimes it's difficult to go back because you don't have a self-confidence or you don't know how. Just do the deep meditation. If you think deeply, go back, do the chanting. Thinking deeply, you find your true self. Okay? Nobody can show you true self. Myself, I have to go to find myself. Sometimes I go to meditation and I try to go back to my true self to help myself. Nobody helped me except myself, because uh, that's a lesson on the 25th uh, here chapter. And I see that if I practice it, I go back to find my true self. To find my true self, that's uh, my Buddha nature. And I feel very happy, I have more self-confidence. So that's uh, the quotation of chapter. 25th, okay? And they have a reverend uh, personal communication. Would I have here a uh, different Bodhisattva try to help you? But Bodhisattva, the good intent, it's uh, your mind, okay? It's your mind. The Bodhisattva, good intent, he come in and he tell you that. 
but truly, really, what it is, it's you, yourself, your true mind. So, the beauty of the British Sutra teach you a lot about our true self, how to believe ourselves, how to practice, how to do it yourself, and you even depend on anybody. They have no superstition, they have no praying, no begging. You get somebody to give you benediction or somebody to help you. You just go in there and find your way, your true way, your true self, and you will find it. And you'll be very happy. And you have a loving kindness, loving compassion within yourself. That's the beauty of the Lotus Sutra. Among many sutra, they are good, but the Lotus Sutra to me is the best one. That uh, the main sutra, I, I love it. And because it teaches me how to practice, how to behave myself, how to live my life with the uh, Lotus Sutra. So experience yourself. Eh? The more you practice, the more you chant the Lotus Sutra, the more you find out. You find out and nobody accept yourself. You discover, you discover the the meaning of the practice of Buddhism. Okay, and it makes you very happy. It makes you have more self confidence. And when you have that. You can give the example to the other people that you merit. Okay? When you have a merit, transfer the merit to all the people. How you transfer the merit? By your example. You don't have to tell them or do anything. The way they see you, they see how you're happy, how you have self confidence. That you tell them, oh, I chant the Lotus Sutra. And I live that way, and they experience it, and they will find out themselves. And that the transfer the merit, that's the best way to help the other people. Because if we talk only verbally, they don't believe it. They see how we live, how we behave ourselves, and they will follow it, and they will practice it. Do it to yourself, to your family, your loved one, your friends, and then the other people, they will learn it. The Lotus Sutra is a wonderful sutra. Okay? The more you practice, the more you love it, the more you find out the meaning, the true meaning, and the real practice of the Buddhism. That's uh, my experience. I just want to talk to you about that, about the 25th chapter. If you have any question, I'm trying to answer the question. Uh, she's asking about ill will and the fact that someone, she was trying to help someone recently and the person mocked her 
for her helpfulness, saying, oh, you're some kind of saint or something. And it, it brought negative feelings up in, in her. How can she keep the other person's negative feelings from affecting her own state of mind? That no. Okay. The only thing is the patience, okay? Your goodwill and your goodness try to help the people. But sometimes they didn't appreciate your help, okay? Or sometimes they ridicule you. But let's be patient. Because basically, inherently, you're a good person. You're a Buddhist person. You want to help. You have a, you didn't ask for return. Because the, in the Buddhist way, you help somebody, you didn't expect the return or the thankfulness from them. Okay? You do out of your goodwill, out of your goodness, you want to help. Okay? You are Buddhist way. So I think what I, I would advise to be patient, okay? Because um, you see in life, a lot of people, they're not very grateful, okay? They probably, their education, their family habit, they don't want, they don't want to show gratitude. Some people, they think this one, oh, to be grateful, show that it's a, it's a weakness. I thought, I'm too show to be strong, so I have to oppose the, the people. I have to show that I'm better than them, and I, I'm different from them. So what I would advise as a Buddhist person, just be patient, okay? Keep doing it. Even they reject your help, or they don't appreciate your help, continue it, okay? You don't, you don't respond, then say, Something negative to negative. If they are negative, you stay positive. Okay? Just stay positive. Sometimes it takes a long time, a longer time, but you do it. Like um, your parents, your ancestor. A lot of them, they are very good to the children. And the children, the grandchildren, not grateful. Because they are parents, they are grandparents. They love them. They then go back and do to curse them or do something negative. They keep loving them. And later on, even sometime after they die, the kid they wake up and say, Oh, my father, my mother, they are wonderful. They helped me. Now I appreciate it. My grandparents, they do it to me. I appreciate it. But when they are alive, they are very ungrateful. And later on, they know it. They recognize it. You see, you learn from your parents, your grandparents. They that way. You see, your mother, she never fuss about the children. Usually, that is my friend. Usually, all the mother, grandmother, they are very patient. Even the kids, the grandkids, they are not grateful. They never talk bad about them. They take it. They swallow it but they keep doing the same thing, okay? They keep helping, helping over and over. And one of these days, the children, the grandchildren, they appreciate it. Okay? Sooner or later, they know it, okay? Any other question? Practicing Buddhism, sometimes you have to be very patient, okay? You see, uh, a lot of monks, nuns, they insult them. They beat them up, but they take it. Okay? They take it, and, and they don't. you see many nuns. They're very patient. They live in community. People insult them. Some of them attack them. Some, they do everything, but they take it. Because that that their nature, they want to help. Okay? You look at the history, many nuns in the past, they've been attacked, they've been insulted. And many monks, the same thing, but they take it. They never turn around to talk back or try to revenge it. In Buddhism, nobody revenge it, okay? If somebody do something bad to you, then try to revenge it. That doesn't do anything, just make like, a, you put more, well in the in the fine, okay? But if you take it, 
the fire will get burned and then it turn down. Okay? But then try to use the water to <coughs> extinguish it, do something to that, the go up. Okay? Yes. Can you just say the first part of your question again? How do you deal with regret by making bad choices for a friendship? Or could we say perhaps your 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 actions, you know that your actions weren't what they should be? How do you deal with the feelings about your incorrect actions? Yes. She's asking, how do we deal with our own, when we realize that we've done something and we're, we're suffering because of what we've done, how do we allay that suffering? How do we get beyond that? Is that pretty good, close enough? That uh, repentance. Repentance is this one. You acknowledge you make something wrong, something is not right. You acknowledge it. I make something is not right. I promise myself I never repeat again. In the future, I don't do again. Okay? Because in life, we make mistakes. Sometimes, by our behavior, we didn't accept that a mistake because our attitude or our, you know, our face will say, no, I didn't make mistake. But deep down, we know it's a mistake. It's not right. So we need to accept it. Ourself, inside ourselves, accept, accept, it is a mistake. It's not right, okay? You do it to yourself, uh, all the people, even you do it to yourself, my action is not right. Or do to somebody who said, I know that it's not right. Because that, that's my false pride. I didn't admit I made a mistake. But now I think it's a mistake. So accept it. And promise yourself, I never repeat it again. And if possible, sometimes you go to that person, you make a mistake, you say, I'm sorry. I know it's not right. It's a mistake. I apologize that. That, that doesn't mean you're weak. That doesn't mean you are, uh, you know. You said, no, I do make a mistake. I think over and I just apologize. I just ask you to forgive me. And I promise I never do it again. I don't do it to you. I don't do it to anybody else. And I do it to myself. So it's a repentance. Repentance is a good form of the self-correction. We have to admit it. I made mean that it's a mistake. And we accept it. And let's promise that then repeat again. Then ever do the second time. One time, that's it, and then do it again. So that's the best, best way to do it. And the people, they will appreciate it. Sometimes, not right away, but in the, deep down, they said, she's a very good person. She admits she made a mistake. And I, I agree, you know. We let it go, and she never repeat again. And myself, I learn from her example. So you teaching her or him the good example. So sometimes the people make me mistake. I learn from their mistake or my mistake. I learn from my mistake. We learn from each other, and hopefully we then repeat that mistake again. Okay. Any other question? If there are no question, we transfer into chanting.
Come, 